Hi there. I'm here in the island of Koz, not far from a village called Mamari. Um, and that's on the north coast of the, uh, the Greek island of Koz, here in the Aegean Sea. Now, Koz is a special island in that it's the easternmost um, island of a volcanic arc called the Hellen Inner Hellenic Arc that spans from here in an arc all the way across the Aegean towards mainland Greece. Now, the significance of that arc is that it comprises a number of volcanoes. And perhaps uh, most famously, as well as a volcano being here in uh, just south of Koz, um, but most famously the island of Santorini, which is to the west of us here, just, just across the sea, um, that spectacularly erupted uh, way back about three and a half thousand years ago during the late Bronze Age. Now that particular eruption has thought to have been uh, the source of civilization collapse here in the Eastern Mediterranean particularly with the Minoans in Crete. Now, of course, with a volcanic eruption, and particularly the type of, that Santorini was, with a, with a large explosion and failure of the island to uh, collapse a caldera, a volcanic caldera, um, all that activity over perhaps several days would have generated a number of tsunami. And it's thought that perhaps one of those uh, tsunami uh, was, a, was a mega tsunami, was perhaps tens of meters high, and crashed into Crete to the south and propagated west into the Mediterranean, disturbing the seabed and, and causing undersea landslides, which may themselves cause tsunami. And also, perhaps more controversially, the tsunami is thought to have uh, come in, propagated into east, the eastern Mediterranean. Um, and have been, uh, have been uh, uh, received at uh, Israel and Egypt on the Egyptian coastline, but also to the um, east of me here in Turkey, and perhaps also along the, the, the coastline here of Koz, and also many other Aegean islands. Now, that's been a, an idea that's been floating around since the 1930s, that Santorini generated a large uh, tsunami, associated with the volcanic eruption and the caldera collapse. But more recently, <clears throat> that theory has been challenged because evidence for the tsunami hitting these places isn't really been that, um, th that strong um, and it's been thrown into question. But there's an awful lot of coastline that would need to be examined before you threw out that idea because indeed a caldera collapse as big as Santorini, a volcanic eruption as big as Santorini, would generate a tsunami. I don't think anybody is, is arguing about that, but it's the size and it's the distribution um, of where the tsunami actually reached. Now, for example, here on Koz, on, the, on this uh, north, uh, north coast here, which faces Santorini out there to the west, there may still be evidence, and I just want to have a look in the field um, behind this extensive dune system, which is clearly more modern than three and a half thousand years ago, to see if the tsunami has left anything in the fields behind. Now I've started to walk in land across the dunes, um, and uh, what you can see is that the, the coastal plain here is quite extensive. Now what we learned from the Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004 is that when a large tsunami gets up off the beach, and starts moving in inland, it can very easily uh, penetrate across uh, coastal lowlands like this to gain quite a, quite a distance. Now, the studies that have been done recently to try and um, investigate the idea of a Santorini tsunami in the eastern Aegean were looking in these back areas behind the dunes to see if they could find any evidence of um, boulders or gravel or pebbles or anything from the sea that's been moved inland across what is otherwise now agricultural lake type environment. Now just one thing that's related but not, not evidence for a tsunami that I've just picked up as we've walked along the, the dunes are uh, these pebbles. Now these pebbles, which you may be able to see here, are actually pebbles of pumice, which of course is a volcanic pyroclastic rock. Now this is light enough to float on the sea. so. We know that this that the Cos Island is, um, is in the reach of volcanic activity um, if we can get pumice floated here. Now in the past, the presence of pumice has been taken by some people to indicate that it's been brought here by tsunami. But pumice just travels on the sea and, and, the, and the tsunami isn't able to carry it um, across, across the sea. And certainly on any coastline, the tsunami would arrive well before 
the, 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 the rafts of pumice would arrive. So it doesn't indicate that the tsunami was here, but it indicates that this coastline um, is under the influence of volcanic activity, and it's likely that these little pebbles have been here for several thousand years, and they may well have come from the Santorini uh, explosion. I've just walked a few hundred metres inland from the, the beach and the dunes and the lagoons and marshy areas behind. And of course, there's a little bit of built-up area given that this is a coast as well. Now, all the way up from the sea, I've, I've seen in the fields, which have been fenced, so I couldn't get in them, uh, bits of gravel on the, 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 the floor that is, that's exposed. But here, for the first time in this uh, vineyard, I think, or is it, no, no it's, it's, a, it's a budding olive grove, it's, it's been plant, planted. The, the uh, ground has been raked up, it's been plowed probably in the past, and what I can see is lots of gravel here. And if we, if we come in um, and away from the road, is that we can quite clearly see that the gravel um, on this field is rounded. Um, it's obviously been tr uh, transported by water. Um, uh, could this be from the Santorini tsunami about three and a half thousand years ago? Now, away from the coastline um, over there, uh, where the new sand uh, is being blown as part of the dunes and so on. Um, away from that, behind them, this surface is not going to have any new deposition on unless you get something like a flood, either from the sea or, or from a river. Now, I can't actually... S there aren't any major watercourses. In fact, at the moment, all the streams that come down from the mountains up there are dry. Um, so I'm not sure whether this, is a, whether, whether this is a proper floodplain or whether perhaps it's an alluvial plain. So these pebbles, of which there are very, very many, in fact, they're all over the place, um, are they from a marine source being brought in by a tsunami, or are they from the mountains being brought down by streams? Um, if we look for shells, maybe seashells that come in from the sea, which you might expect as being deposited uh, and transported in from a tsunami, I can't actually see any shells here. Um, but that's not really surprising. If this is a three and a half thousand year old deposit, now in this climate, in this quite arid tropic, subtropical climate, um, uh, compounds like calcium carbonate are not going to survive very long before they're dissolved out of, the, out of the soil, unless it's particularly lime rich. So there's no seashells here, but there's no other fossils either. So we can't actually say whether uh, this deposit has been brought down from the mountains, which is one possibility, or whether it was brought in across the coastal plain about three and a half thousand years ago by a tsunami linked to the Santorini eruption. I just continued to walk along on the coastal plain here, and all the fields that I, I'm finding that I can gain access to, like this olive grove here, have got cobbles and pebbles and even small boulders um, exposed in the, the field surface. Now, whether this, the, the, these gravels have come from um, perhaps streams emanating from the mountains, of which there are no streams actually along this stretch of, uh, of the coastal plain, or whether they come from the sea is a real scientific question. And that's one we can test in the field by some extensive fieldwork. And indeed, the, the question of a Santorini mega tsunami is one that really needs systematic uh, surveying of the coastlines uh, exposed to the, uh, the potential uh, tsunami of three and a half thousand years ago in order to evaluate whether or not um, it actually struck those coastlines. Now, just as an indication, right behind me here, the farmers have actually, uh, where they wanted to get rid of the stones, have actually banked them all up um, like this, and they've, they've, they've raked them off their, off their fields. So they are quite abundant. Uh, so it is quite a fascinating story. Um, was this coastline um, affected by the Santorini er eruption and tsunami three and a half thousand years ago? Do these pebbles underlying these olive groves in the coastal plain attest to that event? or are they due to something else? It's a real scientific question which requires scientific investigation to, to, um, to answer it.